Mike Moore joined by Avond Ospo here at LAU Post following the LAU Post Pioneers 3-0 victory over the Dowling College Golden Lions as the Pioneers repeat as 2013 East Coast Conference Men's Soccer Champions. Avon, first of all, congratulations on the victory. Thanks for Thank joining you. us here. It was a very back and forth first half affair. Defensively, the Golden Lions really focused on you and keeping you in check. So what adjustments did you make in the second half as you picked up the first goal that proved to be the game winner? What was the adjustment that's specific that you made in the second half that allowed you the opportunity to come up with the I don't think we did any specific changes, but we just kept going. We uh, played extremely well during the first half as well. We created a lot of chances, and uh, in the second half we were just we had a win coming with us instead of against us, which helped us a little bit. But we just uh, managed to score. Take us through that first goal, which again proved to be the game-winning goal in this match. Uh, you, it was a, an opportunity that was taken here in towards the middle. So just walk us through that scoring opportunity for you. That was Emil, got the ball to our left side and he uh, dribbled the guy and then put a cross into our to the back post. And I was uh, lucky to head it in in, uh, in a battle against the defender. It's a good goal. Very good. And the second goal, which was a huge insurance goal for your team that was scored, you were the catalyst actually on the defensive end. The gold lines were knocking on the door to try to pick up the equalizer, and you knocked the ball away. So just tell us why you are such an integral part of this team, both offensively and defensively. Nah, defensively, I'm just back on uh, set pieces because I'm a quite tall guy, so I'm there to head it forward. And, uh, and I managed, and uh, Samil ran the whole field and passed to, to Johan and scored. So it was a great relief for us, I guess, to get the, to get the second goal. And the final goal of the match was your second goal of the match. Just take us through that one. It was a penalty kick that was deflected, and then you were in the right place at the right time. Absolutely. Eric uh, missed his penalty, and I uh, took the rebound. So it was good to get that 3-0 victory. So you win the East Coast Conference regular season title. You were the 2013 Offensive Player of the Year. And your shirt says it all here, 2013 East Coast Conference Champions. Just give us your thoughts as you move forward in preparation for what most likely will be an NCAA tournament bid. Yeah, hopefully we'll uh, keep the, the pace as we have been with this season and uh, going into the, to the national tournament. And we'll be able to uh, hopefully uh, go extremely far. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be exciting. And finally, I know you have a lot of family watching back home in nowhere. Does anybody want to say hello to? Of course, I want to say uh, hello to my family and friends back home. Great to have you watch. Well, congratulations on the victory this afternoon, and best of luck next week in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. That was Ivan, uh, uh, Ivan, Ivan Osbo, the 2013 East Coast Conference Offensive Player of the Year, and now we'll bring in Andreas Lindberg, the head coach of the LIU Post Pioneers, joining us here. Coach, congratulations on thank the you, victory you. as you repeat as East Coast Conference men's soccer champions. Just tell us, first of all, what adjustments did you make in the second half? It was a defensive-minded affair throughout, and the winning goal was scored late in the second half. So what adjustments did you make in the locker room as you got ready for the start of half number two? Uh, we actually didn't do too many adjustments. We thought we were doing pretty well in the first half. We assessed the ball well. Uh, you know, I thought that we owned the first half. We didn't have any great chances, but we said that let's keep going in the second half, and eventually we're going to get a chance, and hopefully we can score them out. And you talk about how you had the opportunity late in the match, and it you had obviously uh, a great job by Ospo, and you know you have the offensive player of the year, you have the defensive player of the year, the rugby of the year. You were the coach of the year, so you took four of the five major categories in terms of the East Coast Conference awards. So just uh, tell us about the performance of the entire team all season. Yeah, no, it's been great. We've had uh, three years running now. We've had a lot of success, and there's a lot of seniors on the team. Uh, it's been here before, uh, and they kind of get the job done. It's, it's, I'm used to going for the ride with you. Know, it's a great group of boys. And they've shown character throughout the years by being down a goal and coming back winning it, or getting a man sent off and playing man down and continuing to do well and continuing to, do, to win. Uh, so I can't wait to get started on this, by the way. The elements were a factor here this afternoon, the wind and the sun especially. But just tell us, why do you think you've had so much success at home? You've had only one loss in a very long time since 2010 and that was to Dowling as well so can you just explain to us why it is such a tremendous home field advantage here at LAU Post? Well it, the, the grounds career does a phenomenal job with the grass field. It's a ten phenomenal grass field. We're a possession style team. We like to keep the ball. A lot of teams that we play away they play on turf and we have grass. 
And that is an advantage. And also, it's our house. You know, nobody can come here and push us around. We want to continue to be a, a force to reckon with at home. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Back-to-back -back East Coast Conference Championships, and good luck as you advance to the NCAA tournament next Thanks, week. Thanks, Thanks. And that was Andreas Lindbergh, the head coach of the LAU Post Pioneers, as they pick up the 3-0 victory over the Dowling College Golden Lions, their second consecutive East Coast Conference Men's Soccer Championship.